Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Marin Bosjocic. This is a game from Blitz Championship played in Qatar in 2016. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Marin Bosjocic played d5. Bishop to f4, the London system. Knight to f6, e3. C5, C3, London system pyramid, knight to C6, white to move, a knight to D2 was played. If knight to F3, then black may play knight to H5. So we have knight to D2, E6, knight to G to F3, bishop to D6, bishop to G3, and the boss you teach castled kingside, white to move. Bishop to d3 is the most played move. Carlsen played bishop to b5. Very fine move. And this now looks like a slav defense reversed. Knight to e7. And now bishop to d3. b6. White to move. Castling looks like a very normal move. Instead, Carlsen played e4. Generally, you don't want to open the e-file if you do not castle. And your opponent did. But Magnus Carlsen knows when breaking the rules is okay. D takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Bishop takes on e4. Rook to b8. And now D takes on c5. Black to move. If bishop takes on c5, then bishop takes rook. So we have bishop takes on g3 h takes on g3. Let's take it back. Well, queen takes on d8 is also an interesting idea. Especially if black plays bishop takes on f2. Then the game would continue like this. King takes on f2. Rook takes on d8. And now the key move. c6. Threatening c7. And white is much better, even after knight to d5, rook from a to d1. Ok, back to our game. Carlsen played h takes on g3, f5. If queen takes on d1, king takes on d1, f5, bishop to d3, b takes on c5, king to c2. This would be a better way for black to continue, but white is still standing slightly better. Back to our game. In this position, f5 was played. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Carlsen played queen takes a queen. Rook takes queen. This is now the most interesting position of the game. Carlsen went for this position because he saw a win. Can you see a win in this position? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find c6? Not moving the bishop, but threatening pawn to c7, winning a rook. Knight to d5. Bishop takes on d5. Rook must take on d5. Rook to d1. Rook takes on d1. King takes on d1. And the white has a totally winning position. The white pawn on c6 is extremely dangerous and can be defended with knight to e5. The game continued. Bishop to a6, knight to e5, rook to c8, c4, b5, and now very clever move, b4. b takes on c4, a4 intending b5, rook to d8, check, king to c2, rook to d5, attacking the knight, f4, solving the problem, black resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. g5. B5. G takes on F4. G takes on F4. Bishop to C8. Knight takes on C4. Rook to D4. King to C3. Rook takes on F4. Knight to D6. And what now? The bishop is lost. After say Rook takes on A4. Knight takes on C8. King to F7. Rook takes on H7. Check. King to F6. Rook takes on A7. Rook 
to g4 b6 rook takes on g2 b7 and i guess we can stop here how much would you pay for a chess course which would teach you to play a london system like magnus carlsen well you don't need to pay anything just click on the link below the video and get your free magnus carlsen course and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now